opening the gift set. Mom and Dad are there, aunts and uncles, a bunch of the cousins. Even Marty, the degenerate, who's an alcoholic by 12. Uncle Donald, he hands me this shiny wee box. He's going on and on. Open it, boy, open it. You'll love the surprise. Thing is, I already know that it's a major Howl action figure. I was a nosy bastard. So, I open it up. I look right at my uncle and act surprised. He sees right through me. <laughs> right? Out of nowhere, Uncle Donny grabs Major Howells and he kicks him out the goddamn door! Oh, shit! Room goes dead quiet. Uncle Donny just trucks. He's got to surprise the boy on his birthday. <laughs> Was there a point to your story? Surprises. They fill me with dread and anxiety. Getting Booby out there, team. Might want to buckle in. What the hell? I scratched that. Strap your shoots on. I ain't stopping on the island, but this storm might have other plans. Off to a promising start, eh? Anyone read me? That's not too promising. Uh, get a beacon signal, though. Could be the others. We all got clear of the counter. Hope they're out there. Where the hell am I? What the hell? You're going to a sewer. What about the rest of us? Brooks? Never thought you were a coward. This is bringing up some bad memories. Need to get out of here. Hope the others made it. Anybody there? Lieutenant Kaliso, reporting for duty, sir. Glad you made it, soldier. You good? <laughs> Bit banged up, but I'll survive. Any sign of the outsider? Negative. Kid, you out there? 
Reunited at last. You made it. Well, thanks to you, Cog. Goddamn maniac kicking me out of a burning plane. Well, outsider, seems like I should get a thank you, seeing as you're alive. You're assuming I want to be alive. <laughs> <clears throat> Teams back together. Now what? You all follow the beacon, right? Let's find a way up to it. Looks like we could help each other up on that ridge. This looks like a good way out. Come on. <sighs> I saw the condor. Great. Now what? Uh, the path ends at this pit here. Oh, real observant there, aren't you? Uh, this looks like a way through, but, uh, hmm. Problem, sir? The back isn't what it used to be. Especially after that crash. Leave it to me, sir. Just need a moment. That dead tree's caught on some vines. Heads up! Whoa! Well done, soldier. Come on, Six let's go. The ways down, huh? You got a problem with heights? <laughs> After what we've been through, can you blame me? This looks like the way through here. So, either of you know our destination before we left? They didn't tell me shit. All I know is there was ocean beneath us a long time. <laughs> what the hell was that? Another reason to find that radio ASAP. God damn. What was this thing? It's huge. Bet you whatever killed it was bigger. Well, that is one fucked up plan. There's no way that radio's operational. We need to eliminate it as an option before we move on to another plan. Come on! Look down there. These ruins. Seen something like this before. My grandmother left the Galanki Islands when she was young. But her photos are from this place. Hell of a way to reconnect with your roots. <laughs> Must have flown off the plane. <laughs> Thank goodness. Now we're talking. My dad always told me I was lucky. Lucky as a locust in long pants, he'd say. So that's why you were picked for the mission. Stock up. You can never be too prepared for what's coming. Resupply on me. Make him count. Hey, little help. I hate this place more by the minute. You were saying something about luck, boy? Hey, we're safe, right? 
Look, some more supplies. I told you. Lucky. I stand corrected. How the hell did the swarm get to an island? Nine of the times, old man. The entire world is affected with them. Keep pushing through. Gotta get out of this swamp. It's dropping leeches! Leeches in the water! Well, at least now we have some idea about the mission! We must be the first wave of troops are sending in! Two soldiers and a driver isn't exactly what I call a wave. You're a driver? Delivery driver. Award winning. Tougher than the locusts. Well, old man, I for one like our odds. <clears throat> Won't be long before the flock's back. Let's go. <gasps> Look at all that. Now we stand a fighting chance. Do you even know how to use half this ordinance? Do well, you, Grandpa? That shit! Look! You've got to be kidding me! Stick to the plan. Find the wreck. Find the radio. Gotta be a way through here somewhere. God damn it, walk. You've seen them before? Aye. Fucking swarm. Acquisition. Someone give me a hand. <coughs> I smell again. 
You ran into it too? <coughs> We've got to get out of here. like the tail end. With any luck, cockpit and radio is up ahead. Hey, lucky. Remember? Stand down, soldier. Huh? Quite a literal interpretation. on the other side of the door. Let's go. Ah, oh, damn it. Guess the radio's not here. The entire cockpit ain't here, Grabs. So what's the plan if we find that precious radio smashed to pieces? There's a good chance that whoever organized this operation is well aware of what's happened. Might take a while. They'll send someone. They died in the crash as well. How are your survival skills? Terrible. Delivery driver, remember? Good work. Now let's find that radio. This thing is absolutely destroyed. Nice spot to build a shelter, though, as we settle down into our new lives here on Hell Island. in handy. Authorization code SJK421. Activate defensive patrol.
Take a look. I think I've got it. Ow. Hey, you still there? Oh, you made it. This is Zach. I'm here to get you. Got a location? On it. Why do we get the feeling that Tack isn't the only one we signal? Looks like we're gonna have to earn that ride home. Here they come! Don't let them flank us! that hurt us. Oh, <laughs> 
team! Until he gets here. Easier said than done. We're in way over our heads here. Nightmare. Here's the results. Right. Sorry to be late and all. We survived a horrific condor crash, fought an endless horde of monsters from hell, and barely escaped with our lives. But uh, how's your day been? Well, it's about goddamn time. Holy shit. What? Show some respect. It's Colonel Victor Hoffman. It's an honor, sir. A real hell of an honor. Shared sentiment, soldier. That's why you're here. Best of the best. This here's Hannah Cole. She's my number one on this covert operation. She knows a lot about science things and uh, is, uh, well, in, in general, quite pleasant to be around. Advanced degrees in biochemistry, toxicology, chemistry, and science things. Thanks, Hoff. Anyway, good to finally meet you. What kind of operation is this? Hannah? Now, what we're looking at is a schematic of the Pahanu Cog Bunker, designation Sanctum. It never served its true purpose, instead becoming a burial site at the end of the Locust War. And now, well, it's a full-blown swarm hive. I need you to infiltrate and plant a chemical bomb at its heart so we can kill them from the inside out. It's a high-risk mission. But if we get this right, we could wipe out those bastards and use what we've learned to save the entire goddamn planet. Now, I've made promises to the COG. And through my people on the mainland, I've made promises to you. Complete the objective, and I will deliver. Questions? Whatever the mission, sir, we're in. What? He's the hell out of retirement. <laughs> well then, what are we waiting for? All right, team. You'll be infiltrating the base from its main entrance. All of our recon efforts indicate it remains fully powered by the thermal reactor. Once inside, you'll need to access the bottom floor. It's 20 levels down, but the elevator system will ease the burden. What kind of recon operation did you run? We sent a few teams of DBs, but lost contact. The truth is, we needed somebody with access. Keegan, you're up. I'm on.
Commissioning sequence initiated by Special Operations Officer Corporal Jeremiah Keegan. Welcome to Sanctum. Wait, Corporal? I outrank you? Yeah, long story. All right, guys, now that we have access to Sanctum, I'm officially initiating our operation. Control has assigned your team designation as Scorpio. Copy that, Hannah. Scorpio moving in. All arrivals must report in with our Sanctum security officers. Please proceed to the waiting area in an orderly fashion. Security officers? Gotta make sure the right people get in. What exactly does the right people mean? Sanctum was meant to protect the most important COG citizens. Scholars, uh, politicians, celebrities. And which category did you fit in, Grant? None of the above. Just a goon working for important people. So, what about the regular folk? Just leave them out to be locust chow? It was purely a numbers game. We'll have the resources to save everyone. <laughs> Except the rich, famous, and connected, of course. Contamination. There should be a final security checkpoint on the other side. All citizens of Sanctum are required to undergo decontamination protocol before entering the facility. Please step into a chamber to begin. Initiating decontamination. You'd think with how bad the COG was losing the war, they'd be willing to take in any poor soul that survived. Still need to follow protocol. Protocol, my ass. <laughs> decontamination complete. Proceed to the briefing room for further instruction. This is my kind of sanctuary. It's engineered, has a uh, system. In order to it. real confidence. This is where new arrivals would have been processed. After proper clearance, of course. That should do it. Activating Sanctum Core Systems. Stand by. So, what happened to you? The volcano powering the thermal generators? <laughs> Ended up being too unstable. The whole place was deemed uninhabitable. So after the war, they turned it into a locust burial site. Warning. Biological threat detected. The hell? Something's trying to get through. Defensive positions! Rejack! Looks like we found your robots, huh? 
Katana. Katana covered in swarm shit. Damn it. We said GB standard ventilation system, and... Never heard that. Hey, Mike. Swarm infected DBs. There's no end to the cops' shite to clean up. Welcome to my life, kid. I'll see. Trying to get through. Defensive positions. Rejects. Looks like we found your robots, Hannah. Hannah covered in swarm shit. Damn it. We said GB began the ventilation system and never heard back. Got uh. oh. one. Back there. Swarm infected DBs. There's no end to the cog's shite to clean up. Welcome to my life, kid. That's it! More 
Vtex ahead. Welcome. Here Kyle. we go. Though we live in uncertain times, safety will provide safety and security to you and your family. Without brave soldiers fighting back for war, you can rest assured it is only a temporary measure to ensure the survival of our best and brightest. While the technicians are oh. ready and long as you will find a provision for us on the left, comfortable and active. Please see your initiation officer for more details about your own. Ahead. Welcome, Kyle. Here we go! Though we live in uncertain times, Sanctum will provide safety and security to you and your family. Without brave soldiers fighting back to the local support, you can rest assured that this is only a temporary measure to ensure the survival of our best and brightest. While the technicians make corrections, similar minds. Yes, me? First Minister Jin's always been a bit too eager to use robots to solve her problems. My opinion? Find a plot of land far from all cog civilization. You'd be surprised how much better life can be without their constant meddling. So what the hell are you doing working for? Well, Keegan, I'm a complex man. Ammo drop on standby. If the world came to an end, this wouldn't be a bad place to hang your hat at the end of the day. It's a metal tomb buried in volcanic rock. Never said I deal. Ain't no luxury in hard times. That kind of living, safe and secure, is the best you can hope for. This 
panel must be connected to that door. Let's get it open. Let me take a look there, Grumps. Ah, someone installed the fuse wrong we wrote. Ah, got it! Leave it to the superior officer, Corporal. <laughs> ah, I love it. What the hell was that? Seismic activity from the volcano. Oh, is it, is it just a volcano? That's another brilliant cog idea, isn't it? Throw the last of humanity into a fucking volcano. Anyway, the elevators are on the far side of the main hub. <laughs> What's back here? Let's find out. Hey, Matt. Think you can take a look at this? Oh, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, well, this doesn't look too complicated. Got it! Quiet. Got some rejects. So, what was our mission protocol? Initiate heavy gardening? Got an infestation coming up into the hub from below. Damn. The hive is growing faster than we predicted.
Looks like the infestation has affected the elevators. Oh, is this weed gas bomb going to do the job? Yes! Yes, of course. As long as you deliver the bomb to the center of the hive, it should work. Should work? Enough. Let's get down there. Of range. Wonderful. Wonderful. We need to keep moving. Come on.
Get your ammo. Make him count. Get to the thermal control room. Should be another access console somewhere. So looks offline, but I'll give it a try. No good. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Can we please take this seriously? I'll take a look. So I was thinking, why don't we just drop the bomb down the shaft? Looks like it goes all the way to the bottom. Absolutely not. You heard, Hannah. We deploy the payload to the center of the hive. That's the mission. Access granted. Opening maintenance wing. Didn't we want thermal control? Huh. Good. Here they come. If I wired it right, and I did, both doors should have opened. Oh, look at that. I just needed some time to think. Let's go.
doesn't kill us, the climate control will! Suck it up, kid! of hand fast for you maybe don't know what they were thinking sitting in the house right now don't you want your up till we get out of this fucking place We should take her advice.
Heavy supply on me. Make him count. Not bad. Damn army. I am sick of your complaint. There's a door ahead, and we're going through it.
resupply depleted. Oh, shit! Go back! <laughs>
someone's got to say it. We barely made it out of that one, and it's only going to get worse. We all know it. We are going to die down here. For what? You're afraid of dying? You should have thought of that before you took this on. Oh, believe me, I'm ready to die. But I want it to count. Some sort of death wish. Not a death wish, Ollie. But when the dust settles, I want to have made a goddamn difference. Ammo drop ready. Fucking Egypt, that's what it takes. We all took this mission to make a difference. We have our orders, outsider. 